So I'm gonna be propagating some grape cuttings. Uh, I've made my cuttings. I've shown you the way I do this in the past and uh, I, I put a, an angled cut on the bottom. You have to know when you're, when you're uh, propagating, you have to know which way the plant was growing, which way is up. So when I take the cutting, I cut a beveled cut at the bottom end and a square cut at the top end. Uh, and the only reason is I want to know which way to put that down in the, in the uh, mix, in the potting mix. Uh, it's, I don't think it does any other purpose except that, but that lets me know when I've got a group of cuttings, if they all got backwards and whatever, I know which way to put, uh, which way to stick it in the mix to get it propagated. So I've mixed up some dip and grow. This is my favorite uh, rooting hormone, dip and grow. Each one of these nodes, which is that bump right there, that little bump, that little bump, that little bump, each one of these nodes is, um, is where roots will grow from. Uh, I wanna get as many of those in the ground as I can to uh, facilitate the root, um, root growth. And uh, also on the top, I've told you before, but I'll tell you again in case you haven't seen any of my videos, um, I, I do a square cut on the top, like I told you, but I also put it about a half an inch away from that top bud, that top node. That's where it's gonna bud from. Or wherever, whatever buds are sticking up out of the ground, it might, I may have two of them sticking up out of the ground, I don't know. Uh, that's where it's gonna bud from. So I, I leave it about a half an inch away. So when I push it down in there, I won't hurt that little bud. You don't want to injure that. If you injure it, it's done. Now, it may bud from this one, but it won't bud from that one if you break that off or something. So be careful with that. So what I'll do, dip and grow, you're supposed to dip for five seconds. Again, these are uh, Champanelle grapes. And since I'm gonna put this a little deeper, I'm gonna paint that node right there. I'm gonna paint it with rooting hormone because my hormone jar was not deep enough for that node to get down in it. So I just, I like to paint it. And that will give, uh, that is one that is ready to go. I'll lay it to the side, show you a couple more and then we'll plant them. Again, this is the side with a bevel cut. That's the side that goes in the ground. There's no doubt about it. Paint that one that's sticking up out of the solution simply because I've just not my little jar, the jar that comes with, and this is the little beaker that comes with the uh, dip and grow, it's just not, um, it's not tall enough to get a long cutting down in there. Okay, let me do the rest of these and I'll get back with you. These are Champanelle grapes. We are propagating Champanelle grapes. Okay, so here's a um, pot. This is just a nursery pot. Um, a tree once came in it, probably a three gallon pot. I don't think it's five, it may be. Uh, probably a three gallon pot and it's about 12 inches deep and that's why I cut, made some long cuttings because I knew I was going deep. So what I'll do, being careful of that little node right there, I'm gonna push these down in there as deep as they'll go and leave one or two nodes above the soil line, potting mix. And again, this is just a, a good potting mix. Uh, usually I would, I would make this, uh, I would wet this down. I haven't yet, but I will as soon as I get through. I'll wet this down real good. Uh, being careful, careful, careful of those top nodes. Don't want to break that. And push it from here, but then when I get close, I'm gonna have to go to the top here. And these all have, again, I know which way to, to put them in because the way I've cut them, these all have the dip and grow, the rooting hormone on it. Some of them are kind of shaped different than others. Some of them are straight. Uh, most of them are the size of a pencil, number two pencil. That's about that size. I know it's kind of hard to get your perspective on camera, but that's about how, how big those are. This one, this one here is a little smaller than that. I'm getting those, those nodes way in the ground. And 
and you're not supposed to get that rooting hormone on you, so I'm trying to stay away from it, and we'll certainly wash my hands when I'm through. I think it'll grow hair on a bowling ball. I'm not sure, but we'll see. All right, push that down in there. This one's going to be a little odd, so I'll put him off to the side. Now, you may say, my gosh, you're planting those clothes. The roots are going to get all tangled with each other. Yes, they will, but that's okay. Those roots come apart just as easily as, as, uh, as putting them in here. I mean, they just, it, there's no problem whatsoever separating the roots. Assuming these root, uh, there's no problem separating those roots. I'm concerned about building roots not sprouting right now. If it builds roots, it'll sprout. So if you don't see any sprouts after four or five weeks, something like that, you may not be getting any roots. But let me, uh, I'll fill this with water. It'll pack down. I'll put some more potting mix on it just to, to, to raise it up, and then I'll show you the final product here. So here they are, uh, completely done. I've soaked it real good with water. Water is running out, and um, put some more, uh, because it did settle, put some more uh, uh, potting mix on top. This is just, you can buy a miracle Grow. I'll put a link to some potting mixes below. I'll put a link to the dip and grow below. Uh, it's the rooting hormone I've been using for, I don't know, a decade maybe. And it's the one that I really, really like. Um, it's, it's just easy. It's just so easy to do. Normally, I'll just put these outside uh, and uh, we'll mist them from time to time. The tops do need to stay uh, reasonably moist. But I think what I'm gonna do, I've got a heat mat, a heat pad going right now, a seedling heat pad going. Uh, and I think I'm gonna put them on that. I've got some fig cuttings on there uh, already, and I think I'll put these uh, grape cuttings there too. Uh, maybe the warmth will um, will help uh, spur on the uh, the uh, root growth. We'll see. Um, anyway, I'm gonna do that and uh, let you know. If you're not subscribed, be sure and subscribe down at the bottom. Ring that bell. Uh, the, the bell will uh, uh, allow you to get notifications when I put up a new video and when I put up the follow-up to this uh, you won't know about it unless you are subscribed and have your notifications turned on so that's what the bell does so do that if you will give me a thumbs up if you like it and um, come back see us we're gone